Hello everybody and welcome to a game changing episode 19 of my trophy tour. The time finally arrived for me to leave Sturmgratz. It wasn't how I wanted it to end, but nonetheless I'm proud of my achievements at Sturmgratz, which as you can see here was the one Premier Division in 2015. And now I have moved on to a brand new country and a brand new league, and the team that I was successfully given the job for was Bursa Spore of Turkey, and uh, it's going to be a big, big task to get this uh, team uh, to the places it wants to be, but it should be a very possible one on the other hand, but I'm very excited to have received this job. I've never ever contemplated playing in Turkey before, but this is uh, what I've received and it should be very, very good fun. Um, just to confirm, uh, I was also offered an interview with uh, the Portuguese giants Benfica, but I was ultimately rejected by um, uh, Slavan Bilic, he got the job instead of me, so uh, congratulations to him, but it would have been a big, big uh, coup to have pulled that job off, but that just shows how well the patch is working, because I would never have gotten that job before if it wasn't for that, so uh, Jorge Jesus retired from that job, and uh, Slavan Bilic took his place, so he used to manage Ben Besiktas, but now he's some other guys replaced him, but uh, let's just talk about uh, what my task for the season is after uh, the last year the uh, manager got sacked and uh, this was why he only finished in sixth position behind the likes of uh, Fenerbahce, Kayseri Spor and then these lads, Sekor, Risa Spor, they have been on the rise for quite a few seasons so uh, they could be a very formidable uh, team, they have Europa League this season and uh, the cup winners uh, I think were Siva Spor or something yeah, they won the cup, so they get Europa League as well. So no European commitments for Bursa Spore, but in the last two seasons they came second and fourth. So there is a slim chance that I could uh, make these guys potential champions uh, within a few seasons, but it will take work. But uh, perhaps the number one issue is, of course, money. Money is of uh, the dominant uh, problem, and as you can see, even though it's not too bad. They were insecure a few months ago, but I think a presidential election meant uh, the winner had to give uh, the money. I think uh, your man kept his position. But uh, 1.3 million isn't too bad, but I've had a lot of changes to make. Um, as we can now look at our transfer history, we've had plenty of changes. Uh, not a lot of players coming in, but uh, let's just talk about who I let go first. So this was my first release, Colin Kazim Richards. He was taking way too much money for his uh, supposed skills. He's a very average player. Um, and like, I didn't get very much for him, but I don't think he would have contributed at all to our season because uh, look at these stats. He's been very poor the last two seasons, and I had to get rid of him because he's on severely high wages. Um, as for these, I'm not too familiar with those free transfers, but uh, one thing I did do was sell this... Turk Austrian dual national to uh, Rapid Vienna, which probably was a mistake, but uh, they were the only ones willing to bid for him. And uh, hopefully, uh, he has a reasonable career. But I don't want Rapid Vienna to uh, get back and challenge my F1 uh, Sturmgratz team. Uh, Tunchai San Lee, you remember him from Middlesbrough, I believe. Tunchai, how uh, it's pronounced, yeah, Middlesbrough and Stoke and Bolton as well. So he had a very poor career here at Bursa Spore, and he was. Uh, I let him go to Mets on a free, and um, perhaps the big, big gamble I've taken was releasing uh, Jem Karachan, another Premier League veteran. He uh, wanted way too much money, and uh, he was on his last year, so I was like, I'll take the money now, and I got his value, and he's gone to Serie A for the first time in his career, so uh, I, I regret that one at some stage, but uh, I really didn't have a choice since... Uh, I had to uh, bring in a different ty type of midfielder. But uh, let's just see what I have done. And uh, I'll introduce my first signing, who is indeed from, say, Corisaspor, the team that did so well last season. Um, this is Ali Adnan Al Tamini of Iraq. So uh, he is my backup left back since there's only other one uh, at the club, who I'll let you know about in a moment. So he could be a solid player. He's very good at set pieces. And then these two signings uh, here were made without me. I think the previous manager must have wanted them in advance the season. So here, here is her suit, Merich, a right midfielder and right winger. 
uh, with potential to play anywhere else on the left or centre if I need. So uh, he's not looking great. He's not the best player, but uh, he could do something because uh, I have no other right midfielders. And then um, the second signing done in advance was uh, Erkan Zengen, a another dual national, but Sweden is his uh, number one country. So uh, he's much more promising uh, left midfielder, but also he can play on the right. And... Um, yeah, he has far more flair and he can do more set pieces and stuff, so hopefully we can use him as well. But the main man I've signed was probably overspent since I'm unfamiliar with the league, but I needed a sort of ball-winning, defensive-minded midfielder as opposed to what we have, and I chose Osgur Ileri. Uh, I bought him from uh, Genker, Genkler Berigli. Yeah, that, that, that'll do. So it might have been an overspend. 3.8 million is pretty much all the profit I made on uh, Karachan. But uh, he has reasonable stats, I suppose. And uh, the fact that I couldn't buy any more foreigners because I've run out of uh, a lot of space. Um, so I bought him. Uh, he's solid enough, like he spent a few seasons here. And uh, for a mid-table team, these are pretty good um, returns. So uh, hopefully he'll uh, be our best uh, defensive-minded midfielder. But uh, he's much better in that defensive mid position than in centre. But uh, let's just look at my uh, squad now and uh, my tactics that I'm planning to use for the season. So um, <clears throat> we have three, I have three tactics in mind. I have a 4-2-3-1, a 4-3-2-1 and a 4-4-1-1. Um, but I'm going to try and use this 4-2-3-1 uh, for now. It looks good. But uh, let's just talk about some of our best players um, that we have um, in the club. So we'll start from the goalkeeper. And Sebastian Frey uh, was very good for the team last season. So even though I could get rid of him and free up a foreign slot, uh, you can see here, he was excellent last season. He only conceded 23 goals and kept nine clean sheets. So it would be foolish to get rid of uh, Sebastian. But hopefully I can blood in this keeper, Omer Kavecchi. Uh, for the future as he has, he has a good reasonable age and stuff and he played quite well himself so uh, we'll see which keeper wins that battle um, in terms of our wing backs Tai Taiwo uh, he's very popular in FIFA 12 apparently and he is here at Bursa Spore um, hopefully he's got, he'll be our number one left back uh, he's got quite high wages but he could prove to be reasonable uh, he was signed uh, a few seasons ago, must have been on a free as AC Milan and Marseille, whoever it was, let him go. So uh, he has been okay, but we'll hopefully get more out of him in the future. Uh, right back, I have Senair Ozzy Barakli. Uh, again, he's average, but he could do a job. And uh, he could do, he needs to do more to really be the number one, but uh, that's the way. Um, at centre back, I have four reasonable choices. I have Civelli of uh, Argentina. Aziz, the Turk. I have Hedja, who is a uh, Slovenian, I think. Oh, no, that's Slovakia. Oh, God, I got it mixed up. No, Jesus, the Czech Republic. My goodness, that was bad. Uh, my my apologies. And then uh, Cassie Mal, he was actually wanted by an under club, and uh, I decided to let him go. Or let, I reject the bid. Sorry, I'm getting on lost now. But I decided to reject that bid, as he can play right back as well. So uh, that's what I have at centre back. Um, at midfield, I have all sorts of options. I have um, Mustafa Savimi, he's a young lad. He could be okay for the future. I have, uh, where is it? Where is he? Uh, at Atak Kara, who I could have sold. I wanted to sell him instead of Karachan, but Karachan put in a request, and I gave this guy a new contract instead. So uh, he is more of a flair guy. Um, he can pass and deep lie and play make sort of thing. So uh, that's kind of why I wanted a defensive-minded midfielder. Because uh, this guy, Samuel Sinas, isn't great. He could be reasonable, but I don't think he's that, that um, special, to be honest. Uh, so that's that. Um, who else do I have? Um, I have, uh, where is he? Belushi. Yeah, the Argentinian, uh, Fernando Belushi. He, uh, he's getting on now, but he could still give us a uh, good season. Uh, as you can see, he's been here quite a while, and he's still remaining consistent. Um, perhaps the star midfielder is uh, Pablo Balat Batala, the captain, and he was part of the reason why Bursa Sport won the league a few years ago. He, uh, this was, I think, this is the season he scored 13 times, and uh, he's remaining a reasonably good player. 
so uh, he could be key to our season. Um, and then who else do I have? Uh, Elary, who's he? Yeah, the signing. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. Um, right. Um, in terms of atta- other attacking mids, I have Beck Kadimir, who isn't great, and I have Kilic, who isn't great. But I have a few new gens I can talk about in a moment. But in terms of the strikers, to uh, wrap things up, I have Felipe Saicedo of Ecuador, who is uh, from Lokomov Moscow, I believe. He was signed a few seasons ago for 5.5 million, and he's uh, just about to recover from an injury. So uh, that should be important. I think he is the key man up front. But I, uh, I don't have too many options, but they are very good options on the less. I have this youngster, NS Unal, who has five-star report, and he's only 19 with some of these stats already. So uh, he could be very good. Um, got five goals last season. I have um, this lad here, a uh, reasonably good new gen, but he's got a long way to go. And then I have a uh, Jamaican lad in the uh, reserves. I'll show you him now. He looks really good. Uh, where is he? Yeah, Brian Wheeler. Yeah, there he is. Uh, just 18, and he has some excellent stats already. But unfortunately, he doesn't have Turkish citizenship yet, so I don't know if I can register him, even though he's on a 21. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of other players to look forward to seeing as well. But uh, let's just quickly show you my fixtures for the uh, preseason so far. I'm halfway through, and even though we struggled for goals, we've only um, you know lost one of our three games. Um, we beat these lads 2-0 easily enough, and we got an absolutely extraordinary result against Monaco. They weren't really doing their, their hardest, I don't think, but they were banging away at our goal, and Sebastian Fry kept them out, hell for lather. So well done to the team there. But then we went to uh, Elland, Elland Road and were easily beaten by Leeds United, which was a big, big disappointment. Uh, they're still in the championship, so to have lost that game was dreadful. But we still have a chance to redeem ourselves and get ourselves back to full fitness before our first away game of the season against Antalya Spore. And then uh, we have our first big game against Fenerbahce in October. So I'll probably live com this game and uh, give you an update at this one. So hopefully we'll have a comfortable uh, points tally by then because we have some very tough games um, Galatasaray towards the end of the campaign so that's good so uh, that's pretty much all I need to say about versus sport but now let's look at these league rules that I should point out the interesting one here is the prize money because I've never seen this system before where you get prize money for winning and drawing like in the Champions League as opposed to getting the lump sum at the end of the season so that could be very interesting uh, the most important thing here is the Europa League, uh, the Continental Playoffs. Um, we're basically aiming for top four to get the playoff, but it would be very nice to get um, second place again at some stage. But uh, this Turkish Cup, which is also sort of a group and knockout format, will be very interesting to compete for. Um, it's one of the most pre- prestigious cups in the land of Europe, so uh, we could definitely do with that. And we've 34 games to play, and um, we can have no more than five farm players um, in one time, uh, and a maximum of eight farm players. But there's no sign of under 21s being allowed to play. But I'll find out what the story is there. And I hope I haven't gone on too long. This is quite a lot to take in. But as you can see, in terms of European reputations, I've gone from the night from the Austrian Premier Division, which was the 21st best league up to the ninth best league in the world uh, of or in Europe which is Turkey so I've definitely gotten my uh, little bit of an upgrade but uh, I should hopefully stay here and get a good reputation again because it would be devastating not to uh, succeed here in Turkey because I still have that 71% um, and now perhaps the thing you want to find out the most is how uh, Sturm Graz are doing in my uh, absence and so far it's not looking good they're bottom of the league what is this manager doing well 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 let's just take a look at this man first his name is Peter Stoger and uh, he used to manage Austria Vienna at some stage there he is yet he managed them for a year and he won the league so in theory he should have been a great coup for uh, Sturm Graz but so far he hasn't done anything well so far so uh, let's just look at these fixtures very quickly uh, and what's happened so he's out of the cup he lost to Austria Vienna like I did in fairness but that's bad he has advanced to the next round of the Europa League which is good 
but he's been beaten by Red Bull Salzburg and Wacker Innsbruck in his first two games. So a dreadful start to life at uh, the MM Arena. For uh, excuse me, not the MM Arena. What was it? Uh, the UPC Arena. Yeah, of course. I'm getting my uh, series mixed up. But so far, not so good for Sturm Graz. And perhaps worst of all is what he's done with the transfers. Um, let's have a look. So look at all these sales. What is he doing? The big two failures I think he's made is Marco Jurchin has also been sold. So Berich has proven a huge hit in the Premier League with uh, Nottingham Forest. He got them all the way to the cup final and he even scored in it. But they were unfortunately beaten by Man City which I can show you in a minute, but they've sold Marco Jurchin and Roman Best Jack to Birmingham City. So that is a huge uh, unsettling thing to be doing, I'm afraid. I, I wouldn't have sold Jurchin under any circumstance, especially for 1.7. Uh, Premier Slot Titan has gone to Crystal Palace. Um, he's now their new number one ahead of Speroni. Remo Mali, this is another bad one. Why has he gone to Hull City? He, just, he was class for me, and now they've let him go so soon so that's bad um Chupin, i'll agree with that that was he wasn't great so they made a loss on him uh Stuart o'keefe has gone back home to england to play for sunderland which is a little unfortunate in my opinion but uh th that's the way and milos karashik has also left to uh play for weiner neustadt but let's see what he's done in his place so uh guigori sandor is a hungarian and he looks pretty good so I'll let him away with that one, especially as a free. Uh, this lad is a new goalkeeper from Macedonia. He looks okay. Uh, Legia Warsaw saw this lad, and he's not looking too good at all, especially in comparison to Jurchen. And uh, that's a big gamble, I think, to spend a lot of wages on him. Uh, 2.3 million went to uh, Jonathan Ramis of uh, Uruguay. And even though he looks pretty good, he's not settled well so far. So he needs to act as a price tag and then a 3.2 million uh, euro center back and uh, he could be good but he hasn't settled in so far uh, sandro juric as an austrian center mid and he hasn't done too well and uh, then with this one i haven't seen before he's a a uh, luxembourg player from leverkusen and he looks to be okay but so far what is my successor doing uh, let's just look at before I go, let's just look at his tactics. He plays a 4-2-3-1 uh, sort of thing um, with a defensive mid. He uses Dennis Suarez, which is good. Castellano, Vujadinovic injured. That's not good. Oh, he has a broken nose. Uh, he's got Vitas and Medina. Um, he played Exposito once, but he wasn't very good for him. So uh, I'm not too positive. Hopefully he turns it around. I know Albert Chin has a little injury as well, but so far I'm not impressed by what this manager has done. But uh, that just hopefully goes to show how good uh, Sturm, how I did at Sturm Graz. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting a bit tired now. I've been blabbing on, but uh, hopefully we can uh, make a success out of Bursa Sport uh, in the league and maybe even Continental as well. But uh, before I go i actually just say uh, these two guys are also done in my place but i'll talk about them in uh, episode 20 but uh until then i'll speak to you again soon bye bye